All right, so we're getting we're getting really uh, far into this now. We've got the actual navigation coming in. Now we need to manipulate data. So the first thing we need to do to do that would be set up some AJAX. So let's go ahead and go to Aptana. Open up our AJAX folder here. Let's right click on AJAX, do new file, and we'll call this sorting. And we'll call this list sort PHP because we might be able to use this for uh, other things in the admin. And uh, we'll just follow that uh, list naming convention that we're using here uh, for this you know, left side panel of things. Uh, so anyways, see it finish. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and open up one of our other ones like pages. And let's copy this like we did in the earlier videos. Go to list sort, do paste, and remove everything up to ID equals, because we'll probably end up using that. So now you should just have the include with the uh, database connection and this ID equals get ID. Go ahead and close this, and if you have the other pages open, close that. Now we need to trigger this file. So we need to go back to our JavaScript. And down here in the sortable, we're going to add another property that uh, is basically saying on update, do something. And by update meaning, should this list be manipulated, basically. So we're going to do comma update colon, and this is where a uh, function is going to go. So function curly brackets, and we're going to go ahead and use the get method again. So do dollar sign dot get, and the property we need to give that would be the URL to the file we just created. So just like up here on line 46, need some quotes, then ajax slash list dash sort dot PHP. And we'll save that. Now let's go ahead and let's open up Firefox so we can take a look at what's going on here. All right, so I've got Firefox open. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Firebug. And let's click on Navigation. And let's make sure our script is running. OK, cool. Uh, again, ignore these errors. At some point, I'm going to make sure I link to TinyMCE. That, uh, if you didn't hear in the previous video, that's why I have these errors here. And hopefully this won't interfere with what we're doing. So let's see. What should happen is we should get the uh, get method uh, triggered here. So if we drag and release, there you go. Now we're getting all we're getting is an error because we're defining that index or that uh, ID equals off of something that does not exist. So, but that's a good start. So we're getting this running every time something has been changed. Now, if you notice, I'm dragging about us and then letting it go back where it was. It's not running. So that update property is saying, or event that is not property, uh, is saying only on update. So when this list has been updated, um, hence if. I just dropped this back where it was. It was not updated. Okay, so let's send it some information.